730, 92.1, WROI, <coughs> WROIFM.com. We are streaming audio live on RTC Channel 5. We are streaming audio and video live on RTC Channel 4. Good morning, Scott. Welcome back. Thank you, Tom. Ooh, new earbuds. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, wow. Moving into the future. Man, those are those are really impressive. Wow. <laughs> those made by Apple. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I I can't I can't say. Uh, you can't even hear us. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, if you have a smartphone or an Android, you can download a TuneIn Radio app or something similar. Take us wherever you're going, which today, of course, would be to First Federal yeah. Savings Bank, where you'll say good morning to Dick Belcher. Good morning. Good morning. Nice day. Yes. Now, it's going to be a great weekend. Absolutely. May have a little shower for some of these uh, football games. Yeah. That's, uh, That's all right. We'll get through that and move on, right? Yeah. Well, we, we got to get ready for the Michigan State Notre Dame game. We do. Yeah. We do. Uh, wouldn't dare rain on that game. No. No, wouldn't dare. Yeah. And it can't end at a tie. <laughs> no more. No. Can't no, let it end at no, a tie. No ties. No way. Nope. Let's see. That was 66. 66, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Era, Era Parsegian. Yeah, Duffy Doherty. Duffy Doherty. Back oh, at the time. Boy, there's there's two names out of that. Those are <laughs> those are two great coaches. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Woo. They were. Yeah, there'll be no ties to uh, tomorrow night. No. Okay. Uh, are you relieved that you got the health report on the two presidential candidates? Ah, you, you don't know how relieved I am. I went to the Woodlawn portal thinking it would be there, yeah. but it wasn't. It wasn't? No. <laughs> well, it's nice to know to see it. Trump, he's, uh, he's got a little uh, high blood pressure. No, yeah. he's cholesterol. A little, a little cholesterol. overweight, too. A little overweight. Yeah. yeah, but he's getting his exercise, he says, from all of the antics that he does <laughs> in his speech. <laughs> well, then we could expect that so, to continue, right? Well, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's, uh, he needs to lose about 20 pounds. Or Probably. So, well, if he gets president, why well, they've got the facilities there. Oh, absolutely. And the poor guy now probably doesn't have access. No, to he him. probably doesn't. No, uh, nowhere to play golf, you know, yeah. just, gee, sad state of affairs there. And then, and then there's Hillary. Yeah. He had no issues except pneumonia. No, yeah, just a minor thing, just, just a little pneumonia. <laughs> just a little pneumonia. Uh, okay. Uh, we got a couple Ancella guys on here. Welcome, guys. Good to be here. Be here the stars of the show, finally. <laughs> yeah, we'll tell you when to speak. <laughs> okay, a little trivia here. Ancella. Right. When was Ancella College founded? Was okay. it 1925, 1937, or 1966? It's on the sign, isn't it? As you, as you come in? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Well, don't tell. Us. Well, I can't remember what it was. <laughs> we can't have the answer. <laughs> okay. Now, another another little Ancilla trivia. What does the Ancilla word mean in Latin? Ah. Ooh. Scott, Obviously. Scott knows that. Yeah, he's ready. Who's he, who's he listening to? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good question. <laughs> Donald Trump's in my ear. <laughs> Giving me advice. <laughs> okay. All right, sports. we got lots and lots of sports oh, this weekend. Big time. We already talked big about time. the Michigan State-Notre Dame game. That's at 7.30 on Saturday. Uh, in the high school, uh, Rochester is at North Miami. Uh, Whitco is at Valley. Caston at LaVille, North Judson at Winnemac, and Culver at Triton. Okay. Lots of... Good schools. high school schedules. Yep. Now, Purdue or IU, neither one is going to lose this no, week. No, they're not. No, no they are not going to lose this week. <laughs> I would predict that. But, okay. <laughs> neither team is playing. They, That's they got correct. A, after two bruising games, they got to <laughs> Brutal, they gotta, weren't they? Just brutal. They got to rest. I mean, IU had Ball State last week, for heaven's sakes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they've got. Uh, let's see. Today, they've got next week. Nev uh, no, Purdue's got Nevada next week. Yes. Right. Yeah. We tried to schedule Ancilla, but <laughs> <laughs> they, they wouldn't book us. They weren't quite ready. Uh, okay. Uh, Maybe next year. Okay. <clears throat> Colts play Sunday at Denver. At Denver. What did you think of uh, the game last week? I, I thought that we could have managed the clock a little better in the last minute and a half. 
In fact, I thought we could have managed the clock. Now, a lot last, better than the last week on this program, you you suggested that the Colts might get beat. I did. Yeah. That's right. You were right. And I would suggest that again this week, too. <coughs> would you? Yeah. I hate to start season 0 2. Uh, no, that's no, not good. Not that's good. not good. No. I see Moni Lingenfelder won again yesterday. Yeah. She's undefeated. Yep. For the year. She's quite a golfer. Yes, she is. Well, this maybe should go under milestones, but we're going to put it under sports. Phil Wills, who is a great basketball player in 1957, he led the state of Indiana in uh, average 42 points a game from Grass Creek. Ah, excellent. And uh, he passed away uh, yesterday or day before. Ah. He played some at Purdue and then uh, did some other things in the service. And uh, but he, I remember uh, when he was making all the headlines, people were, he's playing where? Grass Creek. <laughs> Where's Who that? Is he? Who is he? <laughs> Where is that? How tall is he? Uh, condolences to the family. Okay, the 41st annual Trail of Courage is this weekend. Right. And that out at the Fulton County Historical Society. Hours are 10 to 6 Saturday, 10 to 4 on Sunday. And they have the kids out there. The kids are today, out there today, right. Today. Exactly. There, there'll be hundreds of kids out right. there. From all so over the area. It's a great uh, production, and uh, they <coughs> spend a lot of time and effort getting that Bet. thing ready. The festival features music and dancing on two stages Indian dance, pre 1840, crafts and all kinds of food. Good food, and all kinds of good food. Also a special showing of the newly completed documentary Like Birds in the Windstorm will be today at the Fulton County Museum. Okay. The documentary will be available on DVD at the Trail of Courage. Fulton County Public uh, Library Gallery has an artist reception today uh, from 4.30 to 6 for Elaine Powers of Winnemac. Her work is on display at the library, so you want to get over there and take a look at that. Indeed. Okay, American Legion is uh, sponsoring the e Empty Chair. It will conduct a ceremony at 6 p.m. September the 16th. Uh, the third Friday in September. And that's today. That's today. Right. And uh, the uh, empty chairs to recognize those that are uh, MIA or POWs, uh, deceased uh, service people. The new League of Women Voters of Fulton County, which uh, was officially recognized by its corresponding state organization in mid-August will host September 27th voter registration drives in conjunction with the National Voter Registration Day. Good. Now, I, had a, I was contacted this week by Carmen Reeves, who's with Habitat for Humanity, and after we had her on here a couple right. of weeks ago, and, she, and on that we gave the phone number that uh, she could be contacted for people that were interested in volunteering or the program and uh, she said I got one on my voicemail and I inadvertently erased it <laughs> so whoever called Carmen Reeves call her back call her back at 223-7612 all right okay we got a little uh, more trivia milestone Okay. Uh, you know what happened uh, in 1874 on this date? Uh, to be September the 16th, 1874. Yeah. Mm. You mm. know, Scott? 1874. No. Uh, okay. Well, I didn't expect you guys to know. Yeah, we there, don't. No. I mean, I'm All startled, right. but uh, we don't. Okay. Purdue had their very first day of classes. Really? Yeah. Ah. Did you guys know that? You probably knew that. Wow. They had six instructors and 39 students. Now, are you surprised? Now we have a, we have 40,000 plus students. How many instructors? I don't know. <laughs> More than six? Well, we, we have less after Mitch Daniels came. He I understand. cleaned out things. I understand. <laughs> Well, I understand from the sources here at WROA that John Bradham has passed away uh, recently. He was a representative. Former congressman, yeah. Former congressman. Out of South Bend. 
Okay, uh, how about some flowers? All right, let's do that. Okay, I happen to be a little bit involved with the Optimus and their pumpkins. You know, okay. And I never had been involved in that, but I know every year they have eight or ten acres of pumpkins. It's a lot of work. Oh, it's a lot of, <laughs> that's a lot of pumpkins. It's a lot of work, a lot of pumpkins, and uh, the optimists get the, the various groups to come in and help, and then they can make a contribution right. back to those groups. And they'll they'll net uh, nearly twenty thousand dollars off this. Project. It's a it, it's a good deal, it's good, and it gets bigger every year. It's bigger, and if you go down uh, East Ninth Street right. this morning, you'll right. see it's all decorated, and they got besides pumpkins and gourds, and uh, they have straw, and they have uh, corn stalks. And Jack will put up the big open sign down there, and you're all set. That's right, and it opened yesterday, so you can stop down there this weekend. Okay, also we need to give some uh, flowers to the city folks who tend to uh, wave petunias in the pots. <laughs> They're very, very nice. They That's did there. a great job. And some, uh, some flowers to the chair people uh, that pr promoted the chair fair last nice week. Nice event. Nice they event. made almost $5,000. Good, nice there. event. Okay, you ready for some money news? Fire away. Okay, Dow was up at 177 yesterday. Right. It's it's on a roller coaster. It is yeah. up and down. Duh. Eight, close at 18,212. Yeah. Uber driverless cars being tested in Pittsburgh. Right. Yeah, for free, you can ride in it for free. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure I want to do that. Actually, I want to, it comes right down to it. The car pulls up with nobody driving and says, "Get in! That cost you a thing." Here we go. Now they they have a live body in there as a safety. Oh, okay. Just so, in case. So if you're in okay. Pittsburgh, you know, t take a free ride to the airport or wherever you want to go. Uh, I see Ford is moving their Focus production to Mexico. I saw that all their small car production going to Mexico. Yeah. Uh, boy, Donald Trump will have a oh, cow over there. Oh, he'll go off on that one, right? Ooh. I mean, Carrier in Indianapolis is bad enough. Now Ford. Ooh. Wow. Okay, Monsanto. Monsanto is selling out to Bayer. Yeah, that's a big deal. Fifty-seven billion. That is a big deal. It's very controversial. Very controversial. Will the regulators approve that? There's a lot of. Uh, I, I'm guessing they've done their homework. Okay. At that. Yeah, they they will. They may have to divest of something. Okay. That's typically on those those mergers that they need to divide, divest of it. Okay, Dean White, one of the Hoosier yeah. billionaires, passed away this week. He's yeah. ninety three. Ninety three. Yeah. Supposedly. Good guy. Did you know him? Didn't know him personally, but he did a lot to recreate the downtown area in Indianapolis. He sure did. Yeah. Uh, he's among the three richest ones in Indiana. Right. Uh, his estimated net worth is 2.5 I think billion. he's just a little bit ahead of Jim Irsay, right? Yes, yeah. And then Simon Brothers are right, right. in there. And the Cook family. Yeah. Medical yeah. Devices from Bloomington. Yes. Right, Scott? You, you probably know them. <clears throat> yeah. I knew Bill, and yeah. Bill actually paid for my, my last two years of college. Wow. He did? That's I was great. a good waiter. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. You're a good waiter, so he paid your way. <laughs> he did. He and Bill Armstrong. Okay. Boy, you're a sales guy. That's <laughs> <laughs> the only way I, you could keep me. You follow Apple at all? A little bit. Apple's the last few days, big yep. time. Yep. The black is going well. Yeah. Today's Sam the day. Samsung's First day today. not going very well. No, that's not. That's going in the opposite direction. Yeah. Okay. Today on the stock market is tri triple witching day. You've explained that before, but that means... That means, I, I knew you'd ask me. <laughs> I may have that. Here's Changing Life Scholarship Dinner. Well, it has to do with uh, puts and calls and options right. that on the uh, uh, every quarter this happens. I thought I'd printed it out. Well, that's okay. So, so that means the market will do what today? Uh, it'll go up or down. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to hang my hand on that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
All right, let's see. We'll, let's sell some things and products down at First Federal. Well, there's an we idea. Got to pay for this program. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> this, is, this is prime time. Right? Yeah, well, you absolutely. can't imagine how much it's <laughs> And then these guys charge to come up and. Be on and what are you going to do? <laughs> okay. It's a never-ending. I know. Deal. Yeah. Our ATM is always open. Right. And if you don't have the card, we make a fee off of that. So. It's amazing how they're lined up there on the weekends. By the way, my new chip card is working pretty well. Is it? Yes, it is. Now, what do you mean pretty well? Well, you, I, mean, you know, it, is it, it, because I, I was putting it in backwards. <laughs> and and I, was having, I was having trouble. And then finally somebody sweetly smiled at me and said, if you'll turn that card around, it will probably work. And lo and behold, it did. I did the same thing at Kroger's. <laughs> and the clerk says, uh, Mr. Belcher. See? Uh -huh. Oh, that will turn it around. It has to see the chip. That's what I they know. told me. That's, that's, a, that's a secret. See the that's chip. That's a secret, right. <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, we were talking a little bit before we went on the air about lo loan production. Our loan production for the, for the year uh, is up. And... Uh, uh, construction lending is up. Excellent. And that's all really a good sign for the for the, uh, the economy. It's getting better. And like you always say, it's the perception. People think right. things are better, and so yeah. they're going to make moves like that. If you're thinking about buying or refinancing a home, talk with John Schaefer or Ben Dalton in Rochester or Bill Morris in Winnemac. Uh, we service all our loans locally. Borrowers must meet underwriting guidelines, a delivery fee will be applicable to the loan. And First Federal is FDIC insured and an equal housing lender and our NMLS number is three, nine or nine or nine or 27. There you go. We're done. All okay. the die, I's and are dotted, T's are crossed. Yeah, there's hundreds, if not thousands of people out there watching yeah. and listening for, our, to, for they, our guests. They've been waiting. All right, their special yeah. guests. They've been waiting. <laughs> okay. we. we, we <laughs> We have Ancilla President Dr. Ken Zirkel. We're glad to have you with us today, and also Todd Zotlander. I get that right. Zotlander, that's close. Yeah, all right. We'll, we'll uh, call him Todd from here on out. Yeah, Todd. Works. Well, if I write you a check, I want to make sure. Give <laughs> 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 him your card. Okay, I'll be done. Be sure to do that. Over there. Todd's uh, Vice President of Development. That means fundraising. That's right. right? Yeah. It does. Okay. It does. Uh, Ken, you've got lots of things going on at Ancilla. Uh, tell, tell us a little bit. you got a new dorm. you got some new programs. Well, in, over the past two years, we've built two new residence halls. And, uh, the first two, right? The first two okay. and a new dining recreation complex to go with them. And uh, uh, we, you know, it's always a gamble when you build a new building like that. Will, they, will you get the students that you need and so forth? And, uh, we opened the fall semester here three weeks ago with, with both residence halls completely full. Few Which rooms. would be about how many? It's, uh, the, the capacity is like 94 or 95 in each building. Okay. And we have about 100 in each building. We had to triple a few rooms. and uh, But the rooms we all in these residence halls are bigger than in traditional residence halls. So students don't mind the, the tripling. We can bunk the beds. We buy the... the particular units we use are designed to do that if you want and so this it's very spacious and and they're nice you know you have a you have a, the restroom a bathroom in each room so you don't have to get down the hall like it was when I was younger <laughs> um, uh, all you have to do is fight with your roommate who's going to be in the bathroom first or whatever uh, each good each, lesson for later in life yeah <laughs> each uh, each uh, re each uh, floor in the residence hall has a laundry on each floor instead of one laundry in the wow. basement um, so there's just a really uh, a nice enclosed uh, glass enclosed study room on each floor so if people want to get together in a small group our, our nursing students like to do that uh, they're, they're they take these really difficult tests and they get together with small groups and study, and so they can do that at midnight or one if they want, and it doesn't disrupt the rest of the hall. So they're very modern, very nice looking, very attractive, and uh, we're, so far it's, it's uh, uh, probably gone beyond what we were expecting. I was going to ask you, did you realize when you first got into this what the demand would be and that uh, well, it would be so readily accepted? You, you, you know, you never go into something that is totally blind. Right. You, you do as much research as you can, but you take calculated, educated risks, and uh, we thought that we would do well. I, I hoped, as a matter of fact, the first res hall, I hoped we'd have it 
eighty percent full the first year. I didn't expect that we would have it like a hundred and ten percent full, and then, then the second year, and I thought we'd fill up the second year, so things were ahead of schedule, and uh, we so we proceeded with the second residence hall and. It's full as well. Actually, well. Okay, now, what was your motivation uh, to do this? Well, if you if you look at the demographics, the regional demographics, all the high schools are having fewer and fewer students graduating. And that trend is predicted in, in our region. So that's that trend is predicted over the next 10 years. So if we were going to continue to draw just from the area and without residence halls, we were getting almost all our people from within 25 mm -hmm. miles that number of students available were going to get smaller and so we were going to get smaller as well. So it was, a, it was our only way of, of staying alive and, and you know, I, I don't like to just stay alive, I like to thrive. And yeah. when I get in an institution, that's what I want. How do we make it exceptional? And that was, that was the motivation. How do we make Ancilla even more exceptional than it was? And this was part of it. Well, okay, now Todd, you got a Changing to, uh, Lives Scholarship Dinner coming up. We do. Tell us about that. On Friday, November the 11th, this will be our fourth year, Dick. It's going to be out at Swan Lake, and it's an opportunity for people to come out and enjoy a wonderful dinner. Uh, there will be silent and live auction items to uh, participate in, and then it's, it's an event that will help uh, raise money for scholarships for our students. And uh, it, it's it's uh, it's growing each year in, in numbers as well as amount raised and and we serve a fairly uh, needy population if you will as far as financial aid need and and so this event will help uh, raise awareness and uh, we're looking forward to a great night. You can go to our website ancilla.edu and click on the link there and uh, give you all the information you need to be able to come out and enjoy a great evening. I've. Uh been I think to all three of those previous ones a uh, very nice evening we right. and, and we put a student at your table yeah. I right. think too we, we, we try to make sure that the people that come out that day that evening will see who they're helping and, and uh, get to engage with uh, one of our students and uh, we, we we hear a lot of great comments about that part of the evening quite a few students on scholarship at Ancilla yes a high, high percentage you know okay. some type of financial okay. assistance for yeah. over 40 percent of our students come from uh, financial backgrounds where they cannot afford to pay one dime for college. This is a very high. Very few schools in the country have that type of student population. So it takes, we have to come up with scholarship help for them. Very needy, very, very good young people, and we're proud of what's happening to them, how, how they're turning out. Dr. Ken Zirkel, president of uh, Ancella, tell us where uh, where it is and, uh, and what type of college it is, a two-year college. And Okay. And uh, are those uh, yeah. credits transferable? Yes, we, we have direct uh, transfer agreements with probably 30 major universities, uh, not just in Indiana, but all around. Uh, but beyond the ones where you have the direct, for example, Purdue, uh, we just finished a program there. So if you, if you come to one of our new programs, is agriculture. So if you, if you graduate with your associate degree from Ancilla, Purdue accepts all your credits. So. Uh, we don't lose one credit. It's uh, two years that they've taken there. Uh, we'll transfer directly. We have them transferring to other schools. It, for, for the family that wants to save some money, it's absolutely one of the best deals that you can ever find. Uh, most students, if they come to Ancilla first before they transfer to a four-year school, they're going to save anywhere from ten, fifteen thousand up to we have one young lady saving. I know, and her uh, two years will save thirty or forty-eight thousand wow. dollars. Amazing. Uh, and for yeah. most, and yeah. most families, forty-eight thousand dollars isn't chicken feed. You know, yeah. I mean, that's a significant amount of money that they don't have to borrow. Otherwise, you're paying back forever. So it's a it's a great first step. Plus, you get all kinds of personal attention. Uh, smaller classes, faculty know who you are by name, not by number. Even the goofy president knows who a lot of the students are. My office is always open. And if nothing else, students stop in. If nothing else, there's always candy available or something. That's the way I get to know students. And I go to the cafeteria almost every day and meet students and meet students with the students in the calf. And How many students do you have? We have just shy of 600 right now. Wow, that's nice. So it's yeah. growing. It is. It's grown almost 20% two years in a row. And uh, smaller private colleges across the country right now have been losing uh, students at the rate of 5% a year. So we're one of the unusual schools that uh, is, happens to be growing. 
Okay, you mentioned about the new program that you've got in agriculture. Yes. Uh, do you have any other new programs? Well, ag is our is our main new program that we started this year. Um, and and you know when I came here a few years ago and I drove in, I said, and I drive through cornfields, green fields, <laughs> and a lot of animals, and yet we didn't have ag. I said it didn't make any sense to me. And and it is it is doing what we hope it would do. It is attracting a lot of top students. Our ag students are. You know, these are outstanding students. They, they've had great backgrounds at the high school level. They're leaders, and, and they fit right in. We will be starting a, a culinary program. That will be, I was hoping to have it started this year. It looks like we will start it on a part-time basis in January, and by this time next year, it will be full-time. And then an unusual program uh, that we will be doing by this time next year is going to be dealing with students that have one of the autism spectrum disorders. We're going to be focusing on Asperger's. These are, these are people that are many times brilliant and they can't get it out. It's, and, uh, so we are going to be, we're going to be uh, working with Mercyhurst University in Erie, Pennsylvania. They have one of the top programs, only a dozen programs in the whole country, not in Indiana. We're part of Wait a minute. None in Indiana? None. No. So you'll be the first? That's good. We will be known as the Indiana Center for Autism Education. Yeah. Center for Autism Education. <clears throat> Excellent. Okay, how, how did you get interested in that, Kim? Well, I, our oldest daughter happens to be a vice president at Mercyhurst University. And the, uh, the program they have for Asperger's, the director of that happens to report to her. So it was, she called me and is saying, after she visited out here, she said, you have the perfect location. Exactly. It's a sort of a serene, you have, you have, it's just a calm type of atmosphere. You have animals around. A lot of these people love animals. They love the earth. And she said, we have a lot better environment for it than they have in Erie. And she said, this, this would be the ideal place. Huh. And so she's the one that's sort of, it's sort of fun, you know. You tell your kids all their life what to do, or you know, it's nice to be getting calls from your own kids saying, Dad, have you thought of this, you know, and, yeah. and that's, that's really how it started. Well, congratulations on taking that on. That's, Thank uh, you. that's special. Yeah. It varies. I think I saw that you got a grant for that. We've already had one, and we yeah. will we will be doing a lot more. I'm going to be approaching uh, uh, Jackie Walorski. Mm -hmm. She happens to be in a key position, and, and I know she has an interest, but what, here's what my daughter warned us about. A, a lot of people that have kids like this are very, very wealthy. And, and she says, well, if you're not careful, the only students you'll have in that program are going to be very wealthy, come from very wealthy parents. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Right. But in, in Stark and Marshall counties, we have several kids that aren't wealthy. How are they going to afford to, to have this special program? So I'm going to approach Jackie and Donnelly, trying to get them to help us get some aid Good. for for scholarships for those types of students. Because, you know, if you're, I mean, some of these people are absolute yeah. geniuses, yeah. and without this, they're they're going to have a, a, a life that's not going to be very very productive. Well, that's great. You're doing some great things there. And send Todd; he can get the money. <laughs> <laughs> that's a I'm working on it. That's a tough. That's a tough thing. That is a yeah. tough thing. And. And, uh, but, you know, we're moving in the right direction. And it's, it's always, I find it fun to do something, do the right thing for the right reasons. And, and the, the uh, sisters there, Ancilla and uh, the poor handmaids have been known forever helping the underserved right. and those that are sort of trod upon, if you will. Right. And here's a group, I mean, the sisters are excited. They're gonna, uh, we're gonna use one of their houses to start with and making sure it's gonna work so we'll have eight or, anywhere from eight to ten students living in a house with a with the trained person with them and uh, if that goes away we think then we have to begin looking at a residence hall designed specifically for this type of student thank you for stopping by the next time you come by come by with a little more enthusiasm <laughs> <laughs> we will thank you okay. so much for thank having you. us Dick. thanks for having us yeah. really thank you todd you bet yeah, thank you thank you. thank you you're doing a great job over there that's donaldson <laughs> and your your address is post office box one. Box right. one. Box one. <laughs> they were only two miles off of off of Interstate 30, yeah. and we just found out a couple weeks ago they have just okay putting a they're gonna redo the road, so we're gonna have a good highway uh, getting in there off good. of 30. Excellent. So that's that's gonna help yep, too. Sure will. Hey, thank you very much. Have yeah. a super yeah, good you're welcome. weekend. Okay, our trivia today: When was Ansella College founded? 25, 1925, 1937. 
1966. We should ask the people to know. 1937. You're right. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> right. That's what it says on the sign. It better be right. <laughs> yeah. And I, th I think 1966, they opened it to, to the, the public. public. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I remember, uh, say, it'd be 50 years ago that uh, that happened. And you right. Had a, had a little celebration. Yeah, now, <laughs> the acid test. What does Ancilla mean in Latin? <laughs> is, it, is it handmade of the Lord? Handmade. Yeah, oh, that's wow. correct. Okay. Yeah. Oh. okay, give this guy a break. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's right based on what he brings yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, a friend of yours told us to say hi to you. That you used to be with a, a fellow named John Rosano. Oh, John Rosano, yeah. And we had lunch with John a couple of weeks ago, and he said, happened to mention, he said, be okay. sure to say hi. Okay, thank you. Let's close with these words of wisdom for from Roy. Chapman Jr. Okay. You know who he is? No. Former chairman and CEO of American Motors. Okay. You, ever, you remember American I Motors? I do. They yes, do. I do. They made Nash. Nash, Rambo, Nash, all that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. Be ready when opportunity comes. Luck is the time when preparation and opportunity meet. Well said. There you go. Right. Dick Belcher, thank you very much. Gentlemen from Mansilla, thank, thank you. Yeah. Scott, right. as always, thanks for, thanks for being here on the sure. First Federal Program. Buying your first home? Let the experts at First Federal Savings Bank help you through the process. At First Federal, all of their mortgage loans are serviced locally with payment options that are convenient for you. Their staff will work with you answering your questions and providing professional service. First Federal will even pay standard closing costs for qualifying first-time home buyers. Just another way, First Federal takes care of you, your local mortgage lender.